and welcome back. I am Kabir from Kabir Classes and, uh, and today I will teach you science. The chapter I am going to teach you is Fiber to Fabrics. Okay? The, before we start, let me tell you. The topics we are going to cover are History of Clothing, Fiber and Fabrics, Natural and Synthetic Fiber, uh, Plants Fibers. Okay? Okay, let's start with History of Clothing. It's short. I have to tell it only. Okay? It uh, uh, thirty thousand years ago, uh, thirty thousand years ago, it was said that our ancestors used animal skin to wear. It was started at that time only. You know how they uh, used to wear it. First of all, they used to kill the animals and then tear apart their skin and then wear it. This is how they used. And ago, uh, six thousand six thousand years ago, cotton uh, cotton was used. You, what cotton? Okay. And in China, the domestication of silkworm to produce silk was uh, used uh, 3000 uh, BC ago. Okay. So, I told you about history of clothing, whatever I knew. Okay. Let's take it. Because it's completed. Our next topic is fiber and fabrics. Okay. Let me tell you. I've drawn a diagram here. I'll tell you how. Fiber. It turns uh, like fiber threads are there and then threads make yarns threads are twisted together to make yarn okay then yarn are uh, to converted into fabric and how uh, do you know how yarn are converted into fabric by two processes maybe it would be weaving or knitting they both are actually same only okay i'll tell you again fiber is the like main component the main source of fabric uh, we wear fabric okay but uh, like fiber uh, and fabric and fiber are natural source not artificial okay see fiber turns into threads fiber threads are their threads okay strands then they turn into yarn they are twisted together to make a yarn then yarn are uh, for, uh, converted into fabric by weaving or knitting okay got it understood then uh, let me tell you that what is uh, do you know what is weaving and knitting I tell you, weaving is uh, weaving is involved in making a loop, like forming a two, uh, taking two uh, yarn and uh, twist, tw turning them, twisting them together, together to form fabric. Okay, this is how it's used. It could be hand operated also or machine operated. Which machine is used? It that machine is known as loom. Okay, remember this. The machine used uh, for weaving is known as loom. Okay, now I told weaving. Now what is knitting? Knitting is uh, like a set of uh, the series of connected loops formed together to uh, to make fabric. This this is also used by uh, what is this? Knitting le uh, needles or by uh, machine. Okay. So I told you like fiber and fabric. This is quite easy. So our topic is over. Okay. Let me take it. So. Next topic is natural and synthetic fibers. What is natural and synthetic fiber? I'll tell you. Natural is natural fiber are those which are obtained from animals or plants. Okay. And what are synthetic fiber? Synthetic fiber are those which are like um, which are made from plastic bottles. Have you seen plastic bottles uh, or plastic cans? They are uh, crush, they are crushing it too much. Uh, like the people uh, in the factories, uh, the cans are crushed too much that they may form strands, thin strands. Then they weave it or knit it, and then it is formed as fabric, and we wear it. Okay. Okay, uh, now I, I just forgot something uh, about fiber and fabric. Let me tell you. See, I'm having uh, a towel here, okay, with me. And it is made from fabric. And the st I have it, uh, I have to uh, taken out its strands by just stretching. See, see, I'll just take it out. See, I got this. What is this? It is a strand. So let me show you clearly. This is a strand. In this, if we like uh, take it more out, then we'll get uh, more strands. Okay, strands. Okay, then it, it is quite easy. Even you can dry by taking it out. Okay, so I told everything about fiber and fabrics. Yeah. I told synthetic fibers like in synthetic fibers people uh, the factories uh, like the they uh, gra they uh, like grab some uh, plastic cans 
okay they uh, put it in some uh, place and then they crush it they crush it too much uh, that they form strands and then they uh, may produce it as a fabric and they sell it okay that is known as synthetic fiber i told you example now the for natural example uh, for uh, natural is two types i tell you let me just erase it okay see nat uh, natural would be two types natural could be of plants natural could be of plants or animals or animals okay natural uh, fiber could be of two types plants or animals i tell you what uh, in plants uh, like you have you seen that uh, jute silk cotton uh, uh, you uh, you we get cotton from cotton plant okay i tell cotton we uh, we get cotton from cotton plant okay jute jute from jute plant okay uh, cotton from uh, cotton from cotton plant jute from jute plant now what else yeah animals in animals what do you think we will get silk worm silk worm gives us silk okay that is known as uh, an example for animals okay so in natural plants cotton jute animals okay see i told na uh, natural and, and synthetic fibers also plants fibers also now uh, there is something else hemp and flax that is uh, like example for uh, you could say for uh, that animal okay hemp and flax are example actually for animals only uh, there are some they are uh, take produced from their plants hemp plant and flax that that is known as okay so it's quite easy and i just forgot to just take this okay let me just take it so let me just take what uh, now what all uh, it's left for us mm, yeah like ha uh, i just uh, i have to say something else see plants cotton jute uh, cotton jute there is something else also cotton jute or coir c o i r okay coir okay got it uh, cotton jute coir and from animals silk or uh, like in this also hemp or flax whatever you can do okay got it and actually it's quite easy and a uh, plant fibers is completed let me just stick it okay so everything is completed in uh, fiber to fabrics and i hope you you guys were enjoying a lot and you understood right yes so please share subscribe my videos and like it okay for a little support thank you